Crescent Foundation is the CSR arm of Crescent Limited and currently we are quite busy implementing our flagship project which is about uh, empowering women by strengthening their financial capabilities. As I said that this program is about uh, building financial capabilities so there are essentially two aspects to it. One is about uh, creating awareness and building financial literacy and the other aspect is uh, creating linkage between these women with fa formal financial markets. So first piece of financial literacy, one big assumption that we made is that they don't know and we know and therefore we have to go and share everything that we know about formal financial market and that's what will bridge the gap, the knowledge gap. Uh, the other assumption was that the way we normally uh, communicate our messages, we can use similar formats. So the other big assumption that we made was that of course we realized we need to do something differently but the big assumption that we made was that we, make, we need to make these modules entertaining to be able to hold their attention. And the, another big assumption we made is that animation based audio visual is a format that will be appreciated by these women. So with these two big assumptions, we invested heavily in creating a six hour content uh, which was audio visual but animation based. After completing this entire thing, when we went to the field, to our big shock, we, what we witnessed was that beyond half an hour, 45 minutes, this AV was not able to hold interest of our audience. And clearly, this was not working. It, it was very, very disheartening, but we couldn't really um, ignore this big lesson. Uh, so we did a lot of um, research around what would work for, um, for adult women in terms of making the whole process more engaging and more enriching and worth their while, worth their time. And that's when we came across uh, this whole area of adult learning principles. And uh, through these adult learning principles, we actually devised a proper learning format wherein the entire learning is actually happening through a peer learning process which is completely based on discussion. So the big learning was that the previous time we just assumed something would work and it didn't work obviously. So this time we wanted to be very very sure and that's the reason we chose to field test the module thoroughly. All aspects of the module had to be tested. Mm -hmm.